it's your girl Tiara, aka Hot Like Tea, the hottest cup of tea on the block, honey. Um, coffee is cool, but the tea, the tea is always hot. So. <laughs> recording none of that but hey like they say never say never <laughs> so welcome 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 to my channel basically going to be a channel about um, myself <laughs> obviously but um, inspiration um, sharing my testimony um, any words of encouragement that comes to mind any words that God puts on my heart to share with you all. Um, that's pretty much what you'll be getting out of this channel. Um, and some other things too, but we'll get there when we get there. <laughs> and yeah, a little bit about myself. My name is Tiara. Um, I am from Ohio. I went to the Ohio State University, graduated in 2019 with my bachelor's of science in public health with a specialization in sociology. Woo -woo. Shout out to the graduates out there and to my college students that's still doing what it do in school. <laughs> um, but anywho, I'm currently enrolled again um, in the master's program, getting my master's in public health with a specialization in health behavior and health promotion because, you know, health is definitely one of my passions in my life. Graduation hopefully will be sometime next year in 2023. Um, but honestly, I don't get caught up with timelines anymore because timelines can be disappointments. And you, as long as you live on this earth, um, the longer you live, you realize that it's not your timing, but the Lord's. Um, and of course, because his timing is always perfect, even when we can't see it or when we don't think so, it doesn't matter because his timing is always perfect. And yeah, but anywho, um, regardless of when I graduate, just know I'm graduating and I'm getting a master's degree. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, I also currently work in um, the healthcare field. I also work with kids because I love kids. That's another passion of mine, another area of interest. Um, working with kids specifically, um, helping to improve their mental health outcomes. That's really big to me. Um, and I'm glad to see that mental health is getting more recognition these days, more awareness and bigger platforms because it is super, super, super important. Um, if your mental is not right, you'll find that nothing else in your life will <laughs> be going right. Um, so always keep your mental health as a top priority. Um, and yeah, just keep going and know that um, your best days are not behind you. Never. They're always ahead because God always has something bigger and better in store. Um, I'm a firm believer in the scripture, 2 Corinthians 5, 7, walk by faith, not by sight. Um, it just, it speaks to me in my testimony and it's just so true because sometimes what you see can be discouraging. It can be deceiving. Um, one of the ways that the enemy likes to get us off track, um, because sometimes when we're putting in a whole bunch of work, we don't see it. Um, but that's why God tells us to walk by faith, not by sight, because we know that with faith, and with God, all great things are possible. Um, and even when we can't visually see it or maybe hear it, feel it, touch it, whatever, just know that God is always working um, for our best interests and that when the timing is right, he will bless us with um, what is in store for us. I am a dancer. <laughs> I do dance. Um, I've done all kinds of dance from uh, ballet, jazz, drill team, hip hop, um, contemporary, um, the whole nine yards. <laughs> I also graduated from the School um, for the Arts in Dayton, Ohio. And um, yeah, I had some training there as well. Um, but my favorite style of dancing is definitely liturgical dancing or praise dancing that many people know of. Um, I've been dancing in church for quite some time. <laughs> Um, don't remember when, I just remember being, um, a kid, probably 
probably around 10 or 11 years old I started out there was a um, dance team at my church in my church my home church um, started out there and then I just eventually began doing solo dance uh, praise dancing and honestly that's just one of my favorite ways to connect with God um, to strengthen my relationship with him and um, it, it just brings so much joy in my life being able to use that art form to bring glory to his name um, to inspire others and to uplift myself as well so yeah dance is one of my passions one of my area of interest um, one of the many things that I do <laughs> I'm also a writer um, a poet um, self-published author and speaking of that I do have three books that I self-published within three to four years this is my first book the poetic soul my second book is poetically speaking and my third most recent book is through the eyes of poetry and um also i created all of the um the covers for my books <laughs> i'm definitely an independent woman um i like to do a lot of things by myself but i'm never that type of person where if i need help i don't know how to ask for it <laughs> but um if i have a mindset on something i'm very determined i'm going to get it done especially if i want it done a certain way and i know that i'll be able to execute it then yes i'm going to do it myself but if i'm on time constraints or it's not really clicking in my head what i want or i know somebody who's like skilled in that area then of course i'm gonna seek them out and pay or do whatever i need to do to get them to help me <laughs> but yeah i um, created my covers all by myself um self-published my books I've been writing poetry since the fifth grade um started out as something just fun to do um i was actually um, creating a poem for a poetry contest that I used to do in um, elementary school and then from there I just realized hey I'm pretty good at this and hey this is like really therapeutic so I've been doing that for quite some time um, and then hey years later end up creating um, a catalog of poems and I decided I wanted to publish them and instead of going through hoops and hurdles to get it published through somebody else or to wait until wait to hear for somebody to tell me um hey your poetry is good or hey it's not good i'm like mm -mm, no <laughs> i know my poems can inspire somebody somewhere out there um even if it's just one person i'm like i'm gonna go ahead and get it done and i did so um, make sure you check out my books um if you ever are interested in poetry or you just look for a new book to read um check all of them out they're all um available online on amazon barnes and noble um and kindle all for ten dollars each um, i'm glad you all are here i can't believe i'm here but i'm here so i hope you all are here with me <laughs> join the team it's your girl tiara aka hot like tea the hottest cup of tea on the block honey um coffee is cool but the tea the tea is always hot so <laughs> you used to see in my face because it will be around more often um i plan on like i said bringing some inspirational videos um some fun videos a few little travel vlogs um vlogging is not really my thing for real but you know sometimes i go on some really great trips <laughs> um and hey you know why not use that to inspire somebody else to do the same thing and explore the world and see what all is out there all the things that god has um put here on this earth for us to enjoy and to explore so yeah thank you for being here with me um i hope you all subscribe to my channel. stay tuned great things on the way Bye.